Hi. Today we will see how to create a watermark indicator in the TradingView Pine script. This is the watermark we are talking about. These are the inputs of the indicator. From here, you can change the text. As you can see, since IT Walla is written here, so the same is printed in the watermark. We can write text on multiple lines as well. I will write hello in the next line. And here you can see that, the word hello is printed on the next line in the watermark. From here, we can adjust the color of the watermark. But I guess the default semi-grayish color is perfect. And from here, you can adjust the size of the watermark. By default, it is set to huge. These are all the available options. I will select a small size. And we can see that the watermark size has changed. Now, let's see the Pine script code of this indicator. This is an indicator function with the name, watermark indicator. Here, first, we take the user inputs for the text, color, and size of the watermark. For text input, we use the input.textArea function so that we can write the text on multiple lines. For the text size, we have various options like huge, large, normal, small, etc. And here, we set the appropriate Pine script size variable as per the selection of the user. Then we create a table with just one column and one row. Since we want to create this table only once, and not have it updated on each candle thereafter, we configure the table on the very first candle on the chart. That's why this bar state, dot, is first, variable is used. Then here we set up the table configurations like column number, row number, text, color, text size, etc. And that's it. This is the result of that code. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.